Hello. Um, because none of us are in control, and most of us are running the poor little me victim program, um, most of us are on the lookout, we're, we're sniffing for, we're looking for somebody to blame, right? And um, the defence structure a lot of us put up to guard ourselves against the insecurity that the realisation that nobody's in control brings is to act as if we are in control. And what this does is makes of ourselves lightning rods for the blame of everybody else. Because they're looking around for somebody to say, I'm not in control. Oh no, it's not my fault. None of this is my fault. And that's true. It's not your fault. But none of it's my fault. It's got to be somebody's fault. George has got to be blamed for this. I'm angry about what's been going on with me. I've got to hit somebody for what they've done. And they're looking for somebody to hit. And they do it to each other again. Because everyone's hiding behind this front. I'm in control. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm responsible. You know? And because they front that mask, they get punched in the face. Because everybody else is angry because of all the hurt they're getting. Because they're getting hurt by people that aren't in control. They're hurting people because they're not in control. And they want somebody to blame just so they could itch that scratch. Even though they know the more they itch it, the more itchier it becomes. And it don't go away through the itching. It's a paradox that um, consumerism has as well. In, in that pretty much everybody is stark raving mad. They are utterly insane. According to the definition Einstein gives to insanity, you know, to do the same thing again and again and again, but expect different results. So advertising, consumerism, has everybody running around thinking, if I get this thing or get that or get this or add this to myself, I will be happy, despite the fact that they've been adding stuff to themselves their entire lives and you ain't happy, are you? And um, they're doing the same thing with the blame game thing. They're miserable, they're hurt, um, they feel themselves not to blame, and they want justice, and they go out and they, they, they get justice. They blame people, they hurt people because they hurt them, and they're still hurt. It doesn't, it doesn't solve the problem. It just keeps everybody's mask up, because what happens is, I'm not in control, because I'm not in control, I hurt you. And um, then you use that as an excuse to hurt me because I hurt you. And then I use that as an excuse to hurt you because you hurt me. And bing, bang, bing, boom, the whole world's blind, as Gandhi says. You know, a knife and I makes the whole world blind. It's really, the best we can hope for, or the, the, what, what I do, is I just look at the scene. I haven't got a solution, I haven't got a way out. There are, see, because any solution I offer, right? Get it, uh, just look at this, watch this. Any solution I offer is me being hypocritical. It is me telling you what to do. As if you could fucking do it. As if you're responsible. As if you're in control. But you're not. So the best I can do and I've noticed I can do this in myself. It is a, it takes a certain practice, you know, using the clock. There are, there are things, little things I can do that add up to bigger things. And that is to stop interfering, just keep my fucking nose out. But it's hard because I get annoyed and, and that annoyance makes me act. It makes me go out and, and try and vent the annoyance. And it's like, like in meditation again, now there, in meditation you don't choose to become distracted from your focus point, you just suddenly find that you are. And, then, and it's, it's that, the, the bit of you that acts when you're not watching, that's the problem. Right? Oh, the bit of you that comes out when you've forgotten yourself. What it does, it comes out right. You, you, you've got these nice intentions. You want to do all these good things. And then the bit of you that's there, that acts when you're not watching, acts. And it, <laughs> and it does something like say it lies or it calls somebody a name or it says something about somebody. And then 
you can't just take it back because of the moralistic responsible structure which people are putting on each other because they want somebody to be in control. Because look, it's scary that nobody's in control. We want some security, you know? I'm a poor little frail human being. If I get hit by a bus, I die, you know? So there's got to be something out there that's in control. What I want there to be. <sighs> and it just keeps the whole game going. Maybe just looking at it, seeing the, the, the cage is seeing the way out of the cage. You know, the solution is in the problem. They're both the same. Goodbye.